Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pores. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, thanks so much for coming back, friend. It's good to see you again. So, you probably saw in the title, today's pour is a super fun collab. I am doing what we're calling a tutorial train. I think I'm right in the middle of that train. I am accompanied by several very talented artists. I will have links to everyone's um, YouTube channels and a link to their video as well as a link to a playlist of everyone down in my description. I am not sure if you're here on premiere day or if you're here at a later time, but if uh, anytime you're here, I'm so glad you're watching. And if you are watching, be sure to check out those other ladies below. The other amazing ladies in this collab are Cindy Art Studio, who is doing a tutorial of a pearl pour. And then Cynthia Porter Studio, who organized this, is doing a tutorial of a waterfall wing pour. It's art by Donna M is showing us the bloom technique. I am going to be doing one of my tree swipe tree pours um, and showing you how to do that. And then Jamie created that is going to be showing you a traveling straight pour. And Robin Crisp Art is going to be showing you the swipe technique. If you go and participate down and go and watch everyone else's videos, I highly suggest you do. Okay, so for the tree swipe, Let's go over kind of the materials we need first, and then we're gonna get to painting, okay? I have my colors here. These two are pre-mixed. This is Iridescent Gold Fine by Golden Fluid Acrylic, and this is Iridescent Pearl Fine by Golden Fluid Acrylic. My vision of this tree is actually a light background and a dark tree, something a little in reverse of my norms, so let's see how it goes. I do have this white mixed up as my base and background. It is just Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. It's mixed. Let's see, this is mixed two parts flow trawl to one part paint, dash of Liquitex pouring medium. And I did put a little bit of water in this to thin it down. Not like crazy thin, it's still leaving a trace, but you know, a little bit, a little bit is in there. I almost always add a little bit of water <laughs> to my paint. <laughs> um, and then here, I, this black is Deco Art Satin Enamel Black. So this is my, this is gonna be my tree color today. I'm going, or the base of it at least is gonna be black. And I am using the Deco Art Satin Enamel because I know this paint will really, stay strong and stay true and when it dries it'll dry you'll see the tree you know <laughs> but i'll use other colors as like highlights shadows or i guess it'll be mostly highlights but i'll be using other colors in there as well and then i have this silver which is actually deco art um metallics silver here um pretty basic standard silver it's not like super dark super bright you know I like this silver I, I use it quite a bit I need to actually restock up on it um, and this is mixed one to one one part flow trawl to one part paint this is also mixed one part flow trawl to one part paint by the way and a little bit of liquid exploring medium a little bit of water I did try to get all these to the same kind of consistency um, and then this color, let's see, what is this color? This color is mostly this Treasure Gold Aquamarine, but I did add some more of this Iridescent Pearl Fine to kind of lighten it up and shimmer it up. We'll see how that works out, I don't know. Um, it's a pretty color though. And then again, I think I already mentioned my gold and my iridescent pearl fine. I do like to swipe out my background with my large cake icer, or a cake icing spatula <laughs> is what I use for swiping. And then I do have a few random palette knives here that I may or may not use. And then my trusty handy dandy popsicle stick, probably my tool of choice when it really boils down to it. I love using a popsicle stick on these kinds of pours. I just do. <laughs> Let's get this all out of the way, get our canvas going, and uh, we're gonna get to painting. Let's go. Okay, I've got my canvas out here. This is a 16 by 24 inch canvas. So I have my white paint here, and I am going to do a nice, thin, even coat across this whole canvas. Okay. We have got this canvas covered and 
we are going to get started by laying down the layers here. And I'm going to be pretty light handed with my black paint here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a thin line of black all the way up the canvas. I did switch up my normal orientation. I usually do trees kind of in a horizontal. I am gonna actually be doing a tree across this vertically today. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna come in with my gold. And I'm gonna lay it, I'm gonna actually be laying this down directly on top of the black paint here. And I'm gonna lay my iridescent gold fine. And then I'm gonna come in with my iridescent pearl fine. And lay that kind of on the... And then I am gonna come in with the... The silver. It's kind of thick. And come along the sides again. It's a lot of silver, but that's okay. I want it to read. I want the silver to be read well. Um, and next up, I'm going to be coming in with the blue. And. I'm actually going to come in with just a little tiny bit of white as well. Just a smidge of white over all of it again. Okay, now it's time to have, do the fun part. Swipe it out here. I'm just going to start. The trick here is to lay your icing spatula down very gently. Don't press. Start right in the middle. Don't press down. Keep your hand even. And swipe it out. I always just wipe it off on my... Add it first there. You can kind of overlap if you feel like you want to get another part, part again. And just go along and keep on going. Okay. It's looking so pretty in the like light blue cells over here. Right up in here. I'm gonna show you, show you what's happening a little bit closer up here. Look at what's happening in there. How pretty is that? So yeah, but let's keep going, eh? want to bring you in and just show you what's happening in here it's I like it so this is like before I've even pulled any tree up I think it's cool beautiful cells and lacing coming up the sides here and I like to lay the gold down the middle because I do feel like it kind of gives the effect of the light kind of coming from behind the tree and yeah okay so now for the fun part we're gonna swipe up the trunk of the tree. First swipe here. I'm gonna come from the bottom. I'm just gonna come straight up the middle here. We'll try to pull that black paint. There we go. And I'm gonna pull it in here as well. Okay, now I'm gonna, so, kind of satisfied with that for like the base of the trunk. Details can be added later, but I'm gonna come in and do some branches. Turn your painting in whatever direction it is easiest for you to swipe through and kind of like make it flow. Do you know what I'm saying? Like don't force anything. <laughs> um, there we go. So now I'm gonna come through here. There we go. That's my flow. Find your flow. Thank you. 
So I'm taking a look at this and I'm like, I like it, I love it, but I need a few more highlights throughout here. Um, just so the tree's not quite so, so. I don't have any satin enamel white mixed up. So I'm hoping that my Artist Law Flow Acrylic will do the job. Cause that's what I have, but I just wanna bring through some white, which will of course make gray, but just to have a little bit of contrast here in the tr trunk. Just so it's not quite so, quite so stark. Okay, I am done. I can get a little lost and I, I invite everyone to try this technique out and get a little lost in making the tree. Um, I could probably keep going and adding, but because this is a tutorial video, I am gonna just go and stop right now. Um, stay tuned for the dried results. I'm gonna bring you in for a close up of how she, you know how she looks just right now, but do be sure to stay tuned for the dried results as well. So let's go ahead and get on in here for a close-up. Okay, so I love the swiped background. I actually kind of, even without the tree, I think the swiped background is beautiful as is. And, but I'm loving my vertical tree. It actually kind of has like a sunny day vibe to it, like a cold, but sunny winter's day. That's what this is giving me the vibe of. I don't know, I'd love to hear what vibe it gives you. <laughs> um, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you enjoy watching acrylic paint pouring and also consider subscribing to all of the amazing artists that are a part of this collab after you go and check out their videos after this one, okay? Or before this one, depending on when you're watching this video, so. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate it and have a great day. Bye-bye.